In order to solve a linear equation, the goal is to isolate the variable on one side of the equal sign. So looking at our first equation, we have 5 thirds x equals negative 30. We want to manipulate the equation so it's in the form of x equals some fraction or some number. For 5 thirds x, the 5 thirds and the x are connected by multiplication. So we want to undo this multiplication, which normally means we would divide both sides by 5 thirds. But remember, when dividing by a fraction, we normally multiply it by the reciprocal. So in this case, in order to isolate the variable, we're going to multiply both sides of the equation by the reciprocal of 5 thirds, which would be 3 fifths. So we'll multiply the left side of the equation by 3 fifths, and then we'll do the same to the right side. But because we're multiplying by a fraction, We'll write negative 30 as negative 30 over 1. Now looking at the left side of the equation, we can now see why this will work. The 3 over 3 simplifies to 1, as well as the 5 over 5. So we're now left with 1x, or just x, equals this product. But notice how we can simplify before we multiply. The 5 and negative 30 do have a common factor of 5. So let's go ahead and show this as 3 fifths times, I'll write negative 30 as negative 6 times 5, just so we can see that common factor. So this 5 over 5 simplifies to 1. So we're left with x equals, this will be negative 18 over 1, or just x equals negative 18. Let's take a look at our second example. Here we have negative 9 halves x equals 15 20 eighths. Again, our goal is to isolate x on one side of the equation, so we'll have x equals some number or some fraction. And again, because the negative 9 halves and the x are connected by multiplication, we would normally think we should divide by negative 9 halves, but instead of dividing by negative 9 halves, we'll multiply by the reciprocal, which means we'll multiply both sides of the equation by negative 2 ninths. So we'll have negative 2 ninths times negative 9 halves x must equal negative 2 ninths times 15 20 eighths. Again, focusing on the left side, notice how the 2 simplify out as well as the 9's, and a negative times a negative is a positive, so we're left with x on the left. And on the right, again, this is going to simplify. Let's go ahead and write everything out in prime factored form. So we'll have negative 2 We'll have our, the prime factorization of 9 is 3 times 3. The prime factorization of 15 would be 3 times 5. And the prime factorization of 28, well, 28 is 4 times 7, as 4 is 2 times 2. So we'll have 2 times 2 times 7. So now in this form, we'll be guaranteed that we simplify the fraction completely before we multiply. So this 2 and this 2 simplify out, as well as this 3 and this 3. Next, notice how we have a negative fraction times a positive fraction. So this product will be negative, and then we'll have a 5 in the numerator. The denominator is going to be 3 times 2 times 7, which is 42.